Welcome to Psychic Holistic Spotlight. I'm your host tonight with uh, Bill Hannon, um, with Mariah Almonte and Josie Way. Tonight we have as our guest, uh, Kendall Bond, uh, who's going to be talking with her about the many modalities of uh, healing, uh, how she integrates uh, a lot of different ways of um, approaching healing aspects, working with people and pets. Mm. So Kendra, how are you? And I'm amazing. How are you? <laughs> well, that's a good way to start the show. Well, you got to be amazing in this world, don't that's you? Right, that's or they'll right. get you. <laughs> well, thank you for having me. Yes, yes. Uh, now, um, one of the things that we were talking about before, I was interested to hear that you actually have um, many different ways that you can approach getting into a, a connection with somebody. How, how you. Uh, sense the best way to approach uh, a healing with somebody. How, how, how do you approach it when you just meet somebody for the first time? Well, when someone comes to me and we sit, when they begin to talk, I can tell what state they're in, whether they're in a state of low coherence, which usually is frustration, or a state of high coherence, which is usually peace. And so I observe the state that they're in. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times what I find with new clients is that their energy field is open. So I like to use muscle testing. I can see and sense and feel that, but I like to use muscle testing so that they can sense and feel that. So mm -hmm. I do a lot of muscle testing with people that I get a sense need to experience it and find mm -hmm. the own their own answers. Mm -hmm. So because when you're being muscle tested and your arm drops and you can't hold it up, right. you get that message right. as opposed to me saying this right. or that. So I try to, with most of my clients, work with them so that they're finding the answers. Mm -hmm. They're using the modalities. I love EFT because they can do it themselves. That's a very, can, very good tool. I yeah. can, yes, because it's, it's an amazing modality for them to use in the moment. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a challenge for a lot of people is getting into a, a panic attack or anxiety or fear and not having a tool to use to transform that vibration, that energy mm -hmm. setup that they're in. Um, flower essences, I will usually um, open my box and have them just pick, just look and pick. Mm -hmm. And they're always amazed at they know what they need. So but on a vibrational level. Knows. Yeah, it, it, but they picked it, right. and it's specifically what they need, and that's giving them the experience of knowing that they know. On some level. Yes, right. because they know exactly what I know, they just right. haven't used it, they right. haven't awakened to it. So oh. part of my work with someone is to get them to realize that they are their own primary caregiver. Mm and that they can shift and change themselves. Yes, they do need us for subconscious work because if it's on a subconscious level, you can't, you can't get, you in can't there. get there. Mm. And that's you where we use- protectives, yeah. barriers to yeah. that. And so we use muscle testing for that. Um, what's amazing now, now is Not that everyone knows what muscle testing right. is. Okay. Is it possible, Mariah, would you mind being a candidate? No, not at all. Uh, to ask a question or two to do a okay. simple muscle sure. test. Uh, yeah. Something that there's a definite yes or no to. So can you just bring your arm out here for me? Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna ask you, I'm gonna touch you here, I'm just gonna ask you to meet my energy. So just don't let me push down, okay. So say my name is Mariah. My name is Mariah. And hold for me. Now say my name is Kendra. My name is Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> so she said a negative. So her body couldn't hold it if you're mm -hmm. not zipped up. That's another thing if the person I tried to hold it too. <laughs> yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. Well, you but know, it's, it's amazing how mm -hmm. it, you can't. It is. A lot of times when I go out and lecture, I like to pick the biggest mm -hmm. man <laughs> and say, say your name is Sally. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, what did you do to me? Yeah, right. um, but that, that gives us the ability to find the cause because we don't want to just work on the symptoms. Mm. I think that's one of the biggest challenges for people that if they have a symptom and they continue to work on the symptom and they don't get to the cause, for instance, my grandson was getting car sick so I taught him how to tap. Oh. Three months later I said, how's he doing to his mother? And she said, you know what, he hasn't thrown up. 
he's doing amazing. Mm -hmm. He taps every time he gets in the car. And I said, well, that's not what we want. We don't want him tapping every time. We, we want to heal this. So I muscle tested him to ask to go to the time of cause. And it said he was three years old and it was the month of August. So, hot. so I said to his mother, what happened in August when he was three? And she, she for a minute, and she, oh, we were in a car accident and the car hit his door and mm. I couldn't get him out. Oh. And so she was Ooh. standing at the door screaming at him, mm -hmm. traumatizing him, and the guy that hit her said, why don't you go around the other side and get him out, which she did. But by then he was traumatized. Oh. When we did EFT on the car accident, mm -hmm. he no longer got nauseous. Now explain EFT. EFT is an amazing modality that was created by uh, a man named Gary Craig who had gone and taken a $10,000 workshop, came home, changed the name of it, and put it online and told everybody about it. Mm. And he developed so many different ways of using it, and it's tapping on different acupuncture points, mm. which you're backwashing with energy, and you're making a statement that you accept it. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, it creates a resetting of that psychological setup. And it's amazing how it can clear pain because pain that comes and goes mm. is usually not physiological, it's usually energetic. Mm. So you can, it's usually created by kind of like an energy crash where you have a backup of energy and that creates a lot of pain. So by, going to the time of cause and then using EFT, but it also might be homeopathy they might need, or they might need a flower essence, mm -hmm. or they might need to do a past life regression, mm -hmm. or they might need to do a soul retrieval, or they might need an herbal right. remedy, or they might need to do plant spirit medicine. Um, it all depends on them, but they usually will give me a message, they'll give me a sign of what they need. So, you mentioned before about being open. You also mentioned about zipping up. Mm -hmm. These are, these Sitting are, up. Is it, yes, there's. This is an amazing, amazing way to find more balance because right. our energy fields, we are supposed to be taking electromagnetic energy in through our, our uh, root chakra mm -hmm. and into our crown. From our crown. And it crown. creates our velocity, our, our field, mm -hmm. so that our field is going out there and coming back in. Mm -hmm. It's regenerating. But think about that as that balloon of energy gets split down the middle and opened, mm -hmm. what happens? There's no field, right. mm -hmm. so there's no protection. Right. So you're hearing and feeling everything from everybody around you. Mm -hmm. And that can be really challenging. Most Very people draining. that I teach to zip up, um, within about two weeks they'll come back and say, I'm only having my thoughts now. Mm. They feel so much clearer. Now yarrow is the flower essence that actually knits the auric field energetically together. Wow. So if you combine the two, mm. but what you would do is, you would stand with someone like I did with Mariah, you would have them put their arm out, and you would test them that they were strong, and they're gonna hold for you, and then you're gonna take your, your hand and go right down the central governed meridian, down. Mm -hmm. backwards. Now, if they're open, that's going to make them weak mm -hmm. because you've just run their energy backwards. Mm -hmm. So then you retest and their arm goes down. If you have them close their eyes and visualize that they have a zipper that runs from their pubic bone up to under their nose and you have them visualize to zip it up and lock it and then you retest them and try to unzip them, you won't be able to. Mm -hmm. And that's another amazing thing for them to experience. The other thing is that because of the electromagnetic fields right now and how fast the vibrations are, we're finding that we can stand and face the north and people who are grounded and connected and hydrated. When you're standing facing the north, if you say a negative statement, you'll go backwards. If you say a positive, you'll go forwards. So in my classes and workshops now, it's so much easier to have everyone stand and face the north and have everybody make a statement. Mm -hmm. And so then we, we can do it all at once. It's a very mm -hmm. simple, easy thing. But if you put, um, let's say, magnesium on your kitchen counter and you said, this is for my highest good, if you need magnesium, you're going to go towards it. If you don't, you're going to go away from mm -hmm. it. So it's another way of even dosing out, I need one pill, two pills, three pills, four pills, mm -hmm. 
know, okay, so I need three. Mm -hmm. So you can even dose out what you're taking, which mm -hmm. is nice to know that that's what the body wants. Because when we're working with energy and herbs and homeopathy and flower essences, everyone is different. You can't just say, oh, you take five milligrams of this right. because you weigh, mm -hmm. you know, 150 right. pounds. Right. You, people need to really yeah. know what their body, what's optimal, what's for the highest good for them. Not that with energy medicine you can oh, do anything because it's energy. I mean, yeah. you, you can't take too much of a flower essence, although yeah. you might confuse your field a little well, bit. With that, I was going to say, with flower essences, they suggest that you don't mix too many, like they, they say up to seven, I think, is the optimal number. Yeah, you don't want to give them a lot of different messages, Cause you because know, these are powerful messages yeah. that your body, it's asking you to release things or transform things, and so you don't want to get your, your whole system doing yeah, too be, much at beginners once. Beginners want to... Yeah you know, heal everything all at once. And it's just like with regular medicine, there's no one medicine that comes yeah. well, heals it's, all. It's also conditions. interesting, a lot of the times, the body knows what has to be addressed first. Mm. And a lot of times you need a foundational th thing to be addressed in the first place. Yeah, and in order for anything else to work. To, to be so effective, right. That's what I, I wanted to ask. The, the body has its own awareness system, mm -hmm. yes. but it's spirit in the body. Mm -hmm. So is, uh, is this true energy system, so to speak, or? Right, when you're, working, when you're working with something physical, there's always an energetic, emotional component to it. You know, when you're looking at the kidneys, it's fear, and you know, the liver's anger, and then when you get into different diseases, there are reasons that people get them. So when you're working with the physical, the tapping and all of that, you do have to do the eating good food and drinking water, but you also have to be balanced emotionally or you're just going to recreate it. Mm -hmm. Recreate that oh. blockage. Mm -hmm. The tapping, what it does is it gets the energy flowing and the reason that we have issues in a lot of the organs is because there's a lack of energy there. There's an energy block there. And so when you open that block and that energy flows, that organ then rejuvenates, which is what an acupuncturist will do. Mm. You know, you have it's one central governed meridian with over 500 acupuncture points on it, which are all circuit breakers. Mm. And so we're sitting here right now and we're talking, we're digesting food and we're detoxing mm -hmm. and a lot of energy in our brain. But if a lion walked into that door, we would go into fight or flight. We wouldn't be digesting anymore. <laughs> and, but that's because all those acupuncture points are opening and closing and letting the energy go to our muscles. Where it's needed. To where it's needed. So when we have blockages, it affects all of our emotions and our feelings and our spirit because we're here to evolve and sometimes we get stuck in those feelings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's hard to become more at peace when you're frustrated. <laughs> right, well, the state of frustration, like you said, in the very beginning is you know, a, a lower energy and of course if you're scattered, how can you focus? Well, a neurocardiologist called Dr. Child uh, developed um, heart math, which is about is, high and low coherence. And you talk and, about power. And what he says is that, you know, the minute you go into frustration and you drop into a lower frequency, it's like now you're in AM Boom. and static. And the cortex of the brain disorganizes where you don't think clearly. It's, that's that time where you can't find your keys and you forgot to call and you go through that. But also you disconnect from any spiritual guidance you believe in and your instincts and intuition. And all of that flow of energy stops. Oh because you're in fight or flight. So mm -hmm. none of your organs get fed, which is why you get so tired when you're, in, when you're frustrated. The you can't think clearly. Right. And you do things that aren't what you should be doing because you're not getting the guidance or using your instincts. There, there are other emotional states that people, when people are in them, they don't realize what they're doing to themselves, but a state of being in judgment of others mm -hmm. and non-awareness of your own personal Mm -hmm. behaviors mm -hmm. yeah. can send your whole system exactly into chaos into chaos but you and can bring yourself back you, in meanwhile you will have phys physio physiological Logical. symptoms exactly but what dr child's find Charles found was that if you take a deep breath and you put your hand on your heart or you vision your heart and think about it, if an airplane crashed outside and we were all standing at the door, we might very well go, oh, mm -hmm. that's, that resets your energy. That's a natural way mm -hmm. to reset trauma.
So when you do that and then you think of something that you love, it puts you right back up into high coherence within 15 seconds. So it allows people to take control of the state that they're in. Mm -hmm. And so when I work with people, that's the first thing we talk about. We get them zipped up, we get them aware, and then we talk about high and low coherence. And when they drop out of coherence, when they're into low coherence, to pay attention, to get themselves back up, but then eventually start looking at what's pulling you out of high coherence. Mm. Is it that you're not being recognized? Because if that's it, you can go into EFT and you can clear that psychological setup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can find what it is, the cause, through muscle testing. You can use EFT, flower essences, mm -hmm. I mean, any other modality to support it, yeah. and then you can retest. You're no longer stuck right. with the bad messages that you got as a child, right. or no matter who it's from. The teacher that told you you couldn't do math, you know, you're no longer stuck with that stuff. Well, the, the fun thing is with the heart math is that kids that have test anxiety, all they have to do is put their hand on their heart and they'll go right back, the, all the answers will be right there. So it sounds like um, the higher self, but also you're right next to kidney 27, which is the reset button. Exactly, yep, exactly. Because right. it's all connected. Right. Yeah, and so you're working to clear it and when you tap, you're not just tapping out, you're tapping in. So mm. if you're tapping out fear, then you're tapping in trust. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're always transforming it. The one thing about energy, being a person who sees energy that I, I've never understood is when people say, well, just let it go. Where does it go? Mm -hmm. It's a part of you. Where does it, it go? It doesn't. It can't go. You, you can transform it. Right, well, I could see for the, the moment you, you, at least you're calling attention to that there's something going on that right. you have a little control over. Exactly. Uh, take a deep breath, you know, mm -hmm. let it go. Well, all right, mm -hmm. may, it may not be the best word, but it may help somebody to at least come out of that state. For the moment. For but the moment. the next time the Absolutely. same psychological Absolutely. setups are there, right. they're going to go right back there. Sure. So if you can just notice and pay attention to what's drawing you into local hints, because usually there's a theme. It's mm. about me not being good enough, or it's about not being heard. And then usually that theme goes right back to childhood. You mm -hmm. know, the, I was never heard by my father. And, mm -hmm. and so it's still, it's still a challenge, but talking about <coughs> spirit and soul, isn't that why we chose that parent to come in and to experience mm. that? What do you mean the chose contrast? That parent? You <laughs> exactly. A lot of people will say that. Yeah. But that I, is reality. I must have been on some sort of substance <laughs> when I made those choices. <laughs> well, it is kind of interesting, but you know, when I looked at all the spiritual work and growth that I've I've been through, I made some pretty good choices, and they weren't choices that, as a human, I would want to make again. Mm. But as a spirit boy, did they help me to evolve and find compassion and power. Mm -hmm. I mean, just look at being in an abusive marriage and losing all my power and then being thrown on a farm with 60 horses that hadn't been handled in six years and not never having worked with horses before. Mm -hmm. I had to reactivate my power. I had to know what they were thinking or I would have gotten hurt. And now here I am saving horses, mm -hmm. full circle. And I'm doing all the modalities that I did for me on the horses. On, and on everybody <laughs> because else. Because you can tap on animals. Sure. Mm -hmm. I've actually tapped on a horse and had him actually bring up a, a, a mucus plug in his throat that had been creating a cough for, for months. And horses don't throw up. Mm. Mm. But it was amazing. We tapped and there were a lot of witnesses that saw it hit the floor and everybody right. went, wow, that works. Right. It's amazing. Uh, that is very interesting. And I mean, I know Reiki and, and things where you just make a connection mm -hmm. and hold that connection mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. let the energy flow is yeah. great, but yeah. to actually be able, how would you even know where on the horse to tap? I mean, you have to have some guidance. I mean, they have, they're, they're this entire- This horse and this person, the person brought me to the barn because the horse was coughing. And when I walked up to the horse, I said, well, I, I immediately saw the energy of grief. And I said, so what does this horse have grief about? And the woman said, well, maybe he threw me and broke my leg last year. So I said, you need to come over here and we need to tap on that. And that's what we did. We tapped on even though he had thrown her and broken her leg, even though 
He was really afraid, even though, and I went to all the points on his head. On his I went, head. Yep, I went okay. to, to here and mm -hmm. to here, and then I went to the muzzle because the muzzle has a lot of points on it, just like when you do the top of your head right. and tapping. And I was just, and I tapped out, I tapped out the grief, and it was within three minutes he, I mean, horses, a, a, a piece of mucus that right, big right. that just hit the floor and everybody went, oh, wow, that really works. Right. And that was it. It was just that. And it tells you so much about animals that animals care. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they definitely do. They have. They really care being about an animal us. communicator, believe me, they do. They do. Well, I mean, that's also a good connection for people also, the fact that you were able to see a strong connection with a horse and yet grief has so much to do with the entire respiratory system oh, of people. Exactly, yeah. And you know, to be able yeah. to see in another species mm -hmm. the same type of relief mm -hmm. yep. that a person can experience as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, it's amazing. amazing. Yeah, I really haven't heard it put that way before. It's a new, uh, a new dialogue for me that animals care about humans, they care about us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's not that just they're cute and they wag their tails and they want to be with us. No, when they're, they're when I go away, I've been told by everybody who watches my dogs, they hardly eat. They just sit and wait for me. So I never go away for more than a few days. <laughs> and my dog sleeps. <laughs> he just goes to sleep. He comes with me. Mm -hmm. He's just... In spirit, he's with yeah, you. in spirit, he's with me. And I know that I can feel him. I can sense him around me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with the animals, we we blend a lot of the a lot of the modalities too. I think that you're drawn to the modalities that work for you, and then you share them with other people. Yeah. And so I think as we expand and we begin to look at EFT, human work, theta work, all of that, it's amazing because then you have <coughs> so many more opportunities Ewan to help is those the doll. people. Right. No, actually, that's Tong Ren. Tong Ren. Yeah. The Yuan work is about clearing uh, the magnetic and the energy fields, and they do complete healing right down to absorption and all of that by intention through the body. Mm. Um, Tong Ren is using a, um, a figurine. Yeah, it's a it's one of those um, acupuncture dolls that shows you all the points, and you use a magnetic hammer. And what he's done is created a vibrational field that, when you're doing Tong Ren, when you step into it, you're tapping with all the people who have ever tapped. You're bringing mm. that vibration in, wow. and it's very powerful. He actually has Dana Farber. Mm. Uh, Tom Tam actually has uh, Dana Farber looking at what he's done with cancer because mm. he's cured so many people and mm. done so many things and when I actually went and took the workshop uh, a friend of mine went with me and she had a big she has arthritis and she had a huge blowout and when we left that day it had split in half it was mm. amazing we'd never seen it and the next day it was gone mm -hmm. and it was just it usually would take months for her to you know for them it to go away to resolve it um, the Ewan work is is amazing um, and then the theta work which is actually mm. going into the seventh dimension and working yeah. with creator energy to mm -hmm. to do the healing but what's nice is let's say someone comes to me and I do use the the theta work when we first tested and they said I'm worthy their arm might have said no I'm not worthy but then after we do the Ewan work and we test their arm says yes I'm worthy mm. and that's how you know that you've made that change. You know. There's also another um, very interesting man, Dr. Lenore, who um, I like to do some of his work, especially with people who have allergies. Mm. He believes that um, all allergies are created by deficiencies, and he created a book that has all the pressure points of every organ and mm. constituent of the body. So if you want to test a body to see if they're low in magnesium, you touch a point, you test them, if they can't hold for 10, then they're low, they're deficient. And he believes that um, it's the deficiencies that create 
uh, the, allergies the allergies because through okay. his work with people, what he started realizing that everyone who had an allergy to say milk was deficient in D vitamin and you know, so he started looking at his patients and going, wow, everybody who's allergic to this has a deficiency, need this. Oh, I see. I and see. once he would give it to them and then they would come back and they might need three tablets to begin with and they come back in a week and they need two and they come back in another week and they need two and they come back in another week and need one. As soon as he got to, they didn't need it anymore and he would retest for the allergy. They didn't have the allergy anymore, which makes sense why allergies come and go. Yeah. And they're, they're seasonal True. because of the deficiencies. Mm. So, but it's nice to be able to go through and... Well, when you, right, when you have an actual response like that, yeah. And, and this way it's cementing in, in the person's psyche mm -hmm. that there's something to this. I want to stay healthy. I'm going to keep trying to reinforce my immu immune, immune system. Immune system, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so it's if they know what the, what the usual pattern is, they can prevent it from reoccurring. Exactly. And when it does, if it does reoccur, they can then look at why isn't my body absorbing this? Mm -hmm. If I'm if I'm eating a lot of spinach sure. and I and I'm low on magnesium, right. then this is a digestive problem. Now. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. It's that probably has something so, to do with enzymes rather than exactly. exactly. Yeah. So yeah. then you can muscle test for the enzymes and the points for the different enzymes because right. it's all the constituents of the body that he has in this book and every point on the body that right. you use to test for it. I'd just like to take a moment uh, to uh, make everybody aware that uh, Kendall Bond here is our guest tonight and she's discussing with us many modalities used in healing and you know we appreciate you being here mm -hmm. with us. Um, and I like the way that you've integrated so many different modalities and show how they can actually reinforce in uh, not just the person's body, but also uh, the way that they heal, the way that mm -hmm. things start to click and you become whole. Mm -hmm. and, and, I've, and I've done all of this because I've used it for myself. Mm. When I went to learn the Theta, I went to learn because there was something that I wanted to address with myself. Mm -hmm and I wanted to try that modality with mm -hmm. it. And I think that's what's important. Go learn. Mm -hmm. Anybody can go learn Theta. Anybody can go learn you and anybody can go learn tapping. Mm -hmm. And when you learn it, you do it. You right. heal you don't, yourself and then you, you feel encouraged to reach out to others. The first three-day workshop of Theta is amazing because you're clearing all your disconnection to creator energy. So that would be very interesting for an atheist. Oh, just on its own. For an atheist to be going to <laughs> You know, I've never seen an atheist. <laughs> They've never come to me, yeah. probably yeah. for that reason, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm so connected to spirit. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. I, you know, I'm just. Yeah, that's, that's just a different religion. That's yeah, all. it's just a different yeah. belief, and right. told, I'm sure it works for them on their right. journey mm. here. They wouldn't be believing mm -hmm. it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what's great is that we can all be who we are. Right. You you know, when I teach in my workshops and my classes, it doesn't matter what you believe. No. It has nothing to do with no, it's, it's, any it's of it. No, it's the lessons that you're supposed to be picking up on this path. And, and how you and, feel. Right. How you feel about it, you know. Mm -hmm. If you go in for a session, if you lay down on a table and someone does Reiki for you, and you feel amazing for three days, who cares why it works? That's right. <laughs> you, know? that's right. you feel amazing for three days, and that's what mm -hmm. we really all need so is to feel amazing for three days. If I if I came to you for an issue, then you could you could draw in all of those different modalities that exactly. you're hmm, mm -hmm. in my body. But also the muscle teach testing you would tell how to muscle test. Teach mm -hmm. you how to check in with yourself, mm -hmm. because everyone has that ability. And you know, if you come to see me one hour a month, what can I do for you as opposed to the tools that you can use every day? When you get frustrated or your back hurts or, you know, issues come up, you can transform them and that's what's really important. You know, for me anyways, I've never been a practitioner that I want to do it for you. I want to give you right, the ability right, right. to do it well, for Well, it's yourself. interesting also, like even a medical intuitive will mm -hmm. draw on not just what you're presenting, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, what, you're, what the person is willing to share with you on some level and, and what you pick up. Yeah. So again, for Psychic Holistic Spotlight, I'd like to thank you for being thank with us tonight. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Right. Yeah, and thank all of you. May you all be well. Mm -hmm.
So let's do something.